Welcome to Toffee TV, it's the Everton News Daily, it is Friday the 1st of December, so I hope you've all opened your advent calendars, it was Sam Allardyce's first press conference today as Everton manager and ahead of the Huddersfield Town game, um, yeah he came in, he looked happy, he looked confident, he looked like he was up for the job, um, he was asked obviously many questions about what he sees is going to happen, the style of play, um, and other things that we'll come on to. Basically, he just said he got the style of play would be winning football, and whatever that takes. Uh, he said he'd managed this as his seventh Premier League team, and none of them had played the same way. Um, I think he feels like he gets tired with a brush, and he sort of mentioned that, of, of playing in a certain way. And the way he looks at it is that, you know, he will play whatever football is best for the players he's got. And maybe this is the best group of footballers he's he's had, so it'll be interesting to see. Um, he said he was, you know, the most important thing was that he finds the club, you know, in a position where it's not as bad as other teams he's took over, and that's helped by from Wednesday night. Um, he said he's massively buoyed by, you know, the defence and the way they played on on Wednesday. It was a good job he caught that game and not others. Um, but he, you know, he, he's a, he's a man who uses. You know, degrees, very small degrees to change games of football. He uses uses a lot of um, analytics and, 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 and tries to get every drop he can out of the players. So it's going to be interesting to see Everton move forward and, and maybe him trying to prove a lot of doubters wrong, and, and hopefully he does. Um, on some individuals, he was asked about Wayne Rooney and Wayne Rooney's position, and he basically, you know, confirmed that Wayne Rooney would probably be playing in a deeper role. You know, he, he, he mentioned how well he played the other night and sort of said, Well he's proved he can do it, so that's where I'll, you know, that's where he'll he'll be in so many words. So that's an in, that's an interesting development straight away is that he sees maybe sees Wayne Rooney playing in a deeper midfield role. Um somewhere that we've struggled obviously this season, somewhere where we've chopped and chains and um we haven't seen the best out of Morgan Snyder and so maybe that's obviously that's where he sees or is seeing Wayne Rooney in the immediate in his, his immediate time um, starting out of the club, so we'll wait and see how, how how that how that comes about. Obviously, you mentioned getting injured players back and trying to get them back as soon as possible. Um, the ones that are out long term. Uh, he was asked about Ross Barkley, and and basically, you know, he said he doesn't really know about the Ross Barkley situation, but the club can only do so much to keep him keep him. Um, but he said, you know, as soon as he gets fit, it's about getting the maximum out of him. Because if he does, if he does leave, then he needs to be playing at his uh, absolute best. So obviously, he's only been in the job a couple of days, so he's not going to know the ins and outs of everything. Um, on the game itself against Huddersfield, he confirmed that Michael Keane should be back. Uh, obviously, in the ass is back from suspension, but Leighton Baines. Doesn't look like he's he's going to make it. And actually, the way he spoke about Leighton Baines made it sound made not he didn't speak too much, but the reaction to Leighton Baines um, made it sound like he probably thinks Leighton Baines might be out for a while. But we'll wait and see on that. But it was a very it was a very sort of positive press conference. Sam Allardyce, what he's good at, I think, is he's good at deflecting attention because he's he's exactly what the press want. He's forthcoming. He's very open. You know, he speaks his mind. He speaks the truth um, and gives the press exactly what they want. And I think, you know, he's very relaxed and, and just makes it very comfortable for for people to be around him. I think that's exactly what the press want. Um, so that makes his job a lot easier. And I think that makes the job easier for the players as well because it's all on his shoulders and not on theirs. Uh, he was asked about the coaches. He obviously confirmed that Sammy Lee would be coming in. Um and you know, he spoke about him saying, you know, how good the relationship is with him, and that's how how important that is. Um, Craig Shakespeare is coming in, obviously Duncan Ferguson staying on. He was asked about the goalkeeping situation, goalkeeping coach situation. He said he hadn't fully made his mind up on that yet, um, and he said he'd have a look at some people on the staff and see whether they they would, you know, he could work with them and and they could work with Sam Allardyce. Because the thing about the thing about the thing about Sam Allardyce, I think I think people think or get this idea. That he is, um, you know, he's just a, he's just a, just a long ball or a kick and rush kind of manager. But he's very, very in depth. One of the first managers to, you know, 
go into all the stats and and have the um, the cameras in the in on the roof of the stadium identifying players' runs and all the analytics. And he's he goes very very in depth. And I imagine for some coaches that's very intimidating. And also a lot of hard work going through all the rigors of of all the information. Um, it mightn't work for some people, but, but for him and the people that he works with, you know that's what they like because they can then tailor all the coaching to each particular player or issue rather than looking at you know a, a problem like the defense in one big thing they go into the minute details of it to 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 find out where the problems are and that's why he gets results so it's going to be very interesting to see how that works or how quickly that can work forever and so it was very you know it was very very positive he, he was again he was asked about the fans about uh, does he have to you know does he have to get them on his side? And he said, "Well, we've all got to do our jobs. Everyone's got to do that when they come to a football club." So, um, so yeah, it was it was it was good. It was a good press conference. I thought, you know, he answered a lot of a lot of questions, and and um, it's just about getting on with it now. I think for everyone, he is the manager of Everton Football Club. He was asked about his contract. He just said contracts are not worth anything. You've got to sign them. Um, you know, if you get sacked, it's to protect you. If you do well, you'll get an extended one, and, that, and that's. Again, very, very candid, very, very honest. Um, just, just, you know, we was asked about the game tomorrow and just said, you know, what kind of influence can he have? And he just said, well, Wednesday night was the standard. You know, that's that's what we expect. That's what we want. I'll go in there and tell them that and and um, we'll go from there. So, a good first press conference. I think he might have won pe- maybe a few people who are sitting on the fence. Obviously, you're going to have people who just don't want him whatsoever. Well, maybe people who are sitting on the fence, he might have won a few of them over. So, uh, he, he, you know, he, he mentioned as well about why why he he said come out of retirement, and he said, well, it's because of Everton. He said because it's Everton, and it was all we and us, and a lot more than Ronald Koeman actually. Maybe we've been told to say that by the by uh, the press people, or maybe it was genuine. You know what I mean? He mentioned about Andy Gray and Paul Bracewell, and um, you know, people who are his friends in football, who you know talked to him about Everton and how much it means to them. Peter Reid and how much it means to them. He says, you know, they're the things. And, you know, he's not stupid. He's of an age, you know, he, he, where he knows about Everton. He knows before, you know, the Premier League era and our sort of downfall, I would say. He knows all about Everton Football Club and what, what, what Everton Football Club is all about. So, um, yeah, it's positive. It's positive. We move on. We move on and, um, you know, hopefully get three points tomorrow against against Huddersfield and uh, and and if we do things will look a lot rosy and he'll have a lot a lot of um positive things to work with then going forward and maybe you know it'll be a chance for him to think well you know what this is not just about relegation scrap because that's maybe the way he's been looking at it maybe been looking at it thinking I can work with these and actually do something with them keeps on mentioning the word ambition as well you know other clubs maybe went into and maybe that's why he left Crystal Palace in the summer maybe they you know, they had a plan, it was, oh, we're just going to try and make sure we don't get relegated. Maybe he's looked at Everton and said, you know what, there's a bigger plan here, and it's not to be around the relegation zone every year, it's to actually compete. And I think he's always wanted to prove himself on that. I mean, he's been uh, the butt of many a joke, because he said he'd, he he could manage the likes of Real Madrid, and obviously he got his chance with England, and um, think other things got in the way of that. But I think he's always been a manager who thinks he's better than what... The jobs he's been given, and I think you probably think this is a real opportunity to prove that. So let's hope he is trying to prove it at the other end of the table, and we get out of this mess quickly. Because if we can, there's still a season to salvage. And I know a lot of people will say, "Well, David Unsworth could have done that," but you know, until Wednesday night, the signs weren't really there. So pick up three points tomorrow and move on. Move on from there. Um, what else is there? The FA, uh, the World Cup draw has been made today. Um, Gilfy Sigurdsson's Iceland, I think, will be playing Argentina. That's that's a that's an interesting one, um, and I don't know any of the others, but it'll be all over the news tonight. Go and check them out. Go and check out the Everton players who'll be involved um, in the, in the World Cup. England got quite an easy group, but. We won't have many players playing for them anyway, anyway. Anyway, thanks for joining me on the Everton News Daily on Toffee TV, and we'll see you later.